Now we discuss about automatic image annotation using multi SVM. That is the modified title of automatic image annotation using neural network. Automatic image annotation is one of the most challenging problems in computer vision today. Uh, it is the technique is becoming increasingly important in medical field in order to store, manage and retrieve image data based on user query. In order to reduce the computational time for SVM training, we introduce multi-SVM classification. Searching is done by means of matching the image features such as safe or different combination of them. Safe features play an important role in computer vision. Image processing and pattern recognition. We introduce a novel method of using multi-SVM classifier followed by key and for automatic image annotation using safe feature. This is the flow diagram for our proposal system. In our proposal system, our first we give the test image as the input image. Now the input image will be go to the preprocessing step. In the preprocessing step, the image will be converted to grayscale image because the image process will be Easily grayscale image, and if you can change the resize the image because of doing the process will easily and fast. Now, the preprocessing image will go to the filtering process. In filtering process, we use media filter to remove the noises in the image and then smooth the image pixels for the further process. Then the denoised image will be go to the future extraction process. Now we use Gabber feature extraction will be used to the feature extraction. In this feature extraction we extract the feature. The feature will be a intensity value of the each pixel in the image. Now the test features will go to the multi schema classifier. Now the same time the shiny images will be go to the multi SVM classifier by the test images steps. First we load the train images and then we preprocessing the train images and now filtering all the train images and then the TNS to train image the features are extraction now it will be go to the multi SVM classifier. Then we import the two label. Because the classifier was trained by train feature by using the true label. Now the test feature was into the multi SVM classifier. The classifier compared with the test feature in train feature and it will give the result. And then if the multi SVM classifier shows what is the image, then it will go to the KNN for relevant the image. Because the multi SVM shows what is the, the image. Now the KN classifier will be retrieve the original image from retrieved from the training data set. The retrieved image was shown in another window. Now I go into demo of our project. First open the MATLAB and then right click the main one dot inside and run for now the process guide will be open first we load the test image from this data set now we convert the input image into the grayscale image then we filter the gray image now we go to extract the test feature of filtered image what is the test feature of the given image now we go to train that feature now the train features are extracted. Now we go to the classifier. We use the screen classification for classify the image. Now these images will be demonstrated. It will be shown there. Now we go to retrieve the all images. In. And this is the all images of devices. 
now we go to press the performance button to find the performance of classifier the performance of the classifier will be shown in the matlab command window now it is the level and it is the what is the how the trend to be that and number of observation is what the number of observation and what is the classes and what is the target classes the all of this so input of the and output of the classifier now it is the is to see the performance of our classifier now we go to make the another process the same process will be done again first we load the test image from test folder and we go to set the event and now convert the input image into grayscale image this is the grayscale image of the input image now we go to filter the gray image and it is the filtered image now we go to extract the test feature the test feature will be extracted in here now we go to train the feature now it is the train feature is extracted now we go to classification process what is the image is there it is the elephant now it should be in there now we go to retrieve the all images from database it is the all images of from elephant now we go to select the performance button for select the performance now it is the performance of our given now our, our testing image and it is difference between the two images of performance we close the process please push the button thanks for watching video